Learn about the design process. Uh huh. Be strong. Be strong. Learn about the design process. There are problems. There are solutions. There's a crazy puppet. Maybe it's me. I'm going to build the boat and make it go forward. Today, we're going to use the idea of the design process. The design process is where we have a problem we want to solve. In this case, pushing our boat forward. And we try a solution. It fails. We try a solution. It fails try a solution it fails and each time we get a little bit better with each failure that we make our first problem is that we need a boat that floats luckily past Matt has us covered thanks past Matt a boat and we already know it floats. If you want to see that, go to this video here. We need to think about pushing it forward. We might know that Newton's third law states... Ah, Jack Zorn can off me! Ooh, teacher, teacher! It says everything has an opposite and equal reaction, teacher! Uh, uh, that is right. S strangely crazy Jackazard today. So we need something to push it forward. How about we use a balloon? Huh. Yeah, m m maybe a balloon would work. to my boat. Boat try number one. Uh -huh. It looks like a problem we've had is that our balloon gave our boat an awful lot of force but in lots of different directions and ultimately sank our boat. How about we try a fan. Yeah, a, a fan and an engine seem to make quite a lot of sense. Let's head outside and see if we can get it to work. And remember from our ideas of forces that when our fan pushes that air back, our boat will be pushed forward because of Newton's third law of motion. Oliver Pustan, he's going to Make our little motor. You ready, all of us? Ah! Great. Fantastic. Uh, remember, Oliver Puss, being an octopus, has six arms and two legs, so he's able to do these tasks much faster than you and I could do. We can see, look, connected nicely together. And if we were to turn it on, Now, to attach ah! to our boat. Okay, I've not asked Oliver Puss to help with this, because I want you to see that it is actually quite tricky. Because when I try to get my fan lug and attach it on like this, it's just going to hit the side of the wall here. So I've cut this little slat here, look, so that my fan can shoot outwards. Kind of like this. Boat try number two. Oh.
can see, our new boat has two main problems. Number one... Water leaked into it, teacher! And number two! Oh, teacher, teacher! The boat has too much drag, teacher! But how will we solve? The first problem that Oliver Puss and I are going to solve is the problem of drag. We can look at my boat and we can see the sides of my boat. They're very, very flat, so all that water is hitting against them, causing lots of nasty drag. I'm going to solve it, Oliver Puss and I, by making it into a pointy, pointy boat. Woo! Good work, Oliver Puss. Amazing, really. And then, I have this problem of stability. Balance. My bow here, look, is so soft, like Oliver Puss's ticklish belly. What? I need to corrugate this paper. <laughs> Attach it to my boat. <laughs> Cut and watertight my slat. <laughs> and attach my motor. <laughs> I've about tried number three. <laughs> better. Although, when we left it for a while... Cool, so now we've learned a little bit about the design process and applying our scientific ideas to design. First, we designed a boat that had sides up like this so that it would displace some water and our boat would float. But our boat didn't go forward. Then, we put some balloons on our boat to push it forward using Newton's third law of motion. Ah! Teacher, teacher! It says everything has an opposite and equal reaction, teacher! But it sank. The force was undirected. And the force was too strong. Next, we added a motor on our boat to give us this directed and steady force. Ah! But the mass was too great and it pulled down our boat. And that meant that our boat sank. And also, these electrons flowing round... <laughs> round and round. <gasps> they started flowing out into the water which meant that we had no current and our fan stopped. Last, we made a triangle to cut down on drag. And we reinforced our boat to stop the engine making it sink. Also, we waterproofed it, which we probably should have done from the start, really. Not a perfect design, no? Still sank. Wasn't very fast. But that's the point of the, the design process, really, is that we never finish what we're doing. We're always trying to improve it, using that knowledge we took from science and those ideas, things like displacement and forces and pressure, and using them to design better things your design process, think about the steps you'll go through to improve your boat. Each step, think about the science behind what you're doing, and then evaluate the problems that you have. Why not share a video with me showing how you did your experiment? I see you! Like and subscribe!